Now it's time for a quick experiment. At the start of this video, I mentioned that you could use different combinations of hammer and trigger modifications to fine tune your trigger pull weight to suit your needs. Now I'm going to show you exactly how that works. I have here this trigger pull weight tester. You hook the end of this metal rod around whatever you're pulling on, and the display will show how heavy your pull was. You can also get the average weight of a series of pulls. What I'm going to do is find the average weight of three trigger pulls each on four different combinations of mods, a totally stock Smith & Wesson 22 Victory, one with just the Thunder Hammer, one with just the Victory Trigger, and then finally one with both the Thunder Hammer and the Victory Trigger. Then we'll compare the results so that you can see the range of pull weights you can achieve with these parts. First up, the totally stock Smith & Wesson 22 Victory. Next, the gun with just the thunder hammer. Now, the gun with just the victory trigger. Finally, the gun with both mods, the thunder hammer and the victory trigger. Now for all of these trials, I've been pulling in the middle of the trigger to keep things fair, because with the curved stock trigger, you have no choice but to pull in the middle. With a flat face trigger though, like our victory trigger, you can pull at the bottom, which gives you more leverage and thus a lower trigger pull weight. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do two more trials for each of the combinations of mods that had the flat face trigger. I'll pull at the bottom and show you just how much it improves the trigger action. Here's the one with just the victory trigger again, except now I'm pulling at the bottom. And here's the one with both mods, but now I'm pulling at the bottom. It's clear from these results just how big a difference our Thunder Hammer can make and just how customizable these differences are. If you want the absolute lowest trigger pull you can get, combine the Thunder Hammer with the Victory Trigger. But say you're in an NRA competition and you can't have a trigger pull under two pounds, then you would pick one or the other, the hammer or the trigger, to get the trigger pull exactly where you want it. Whatever your needs, the Thunder Hammer can help you get there.